Oh, oh my. Oh. Uh well welcome. Uh welcome. <laughs> <laughs> To one foot on the ground, uh, this is Ashley. This is Johnny. And this is the Dark Crystal. 1982. <gasps> I was two years old. Three years old. December. Well. 17th. What? No, that's... Oh, that, oh! <laughs> yeah. You'd be three. I would be three? Look at you! Yeah, uh, I, I thought you were trying to guess yeah. my birthday. I was like, that's wrong, but it was interesting. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, uh, welcome back. This week we're watching The Dark Crystal, yes, as, as we uh, just mentioned. Hopefully you subscribed, rated, and reviewed. Oh, absolutely. And, uh, <laughs> and now you're back. Yeah. To, to, and we're in your feed. We're in your feed now, because you subscribed. <laughs> All up in those ear holes. And we're, yeah, we're getting on this real quick. So, the beginning of this, they kind of explain the history of the world that yeah, we're the, going to the lore the, the the world that we are diving into um with the mystics and the, the mystics and the skexies did i say that right uh mystics yeah. and the skex god that's hard to say yeah. skexies do you know what the skexies mystics? and the mystics and what are, what are they called <laughs> when they when they combine oh god i don't remember the the Mamerskis or something no that's something, not right no uh the Emerskis? what what were the what were the mystics originally called oh this movie had a girl. lot a lot of edits yes it did yeah i do know that i i also know uh originally this i was gonna say oh this is one of my fun facts <gasps> tell me the skexies had their own language but yes yes and they actually were going to do the film with that and then subtitle them, mm -hmm. but uh, they decided not to. I don't know why. It but if on well. <laughs> the, the Blu ray, uh, you actually can watch scenes with the original language in it. Really? Yes. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Yeah, no, when they redid it, they only redubbed it, and so they had to use English, but they had to try to match it with their mouths. Oh, yeah, because they were dubbing it or they were. Okay, I see. Yeah, what you're and yeah. you had you had made a comment when we were before we started recording about like the mouth sinking, and I'm pretty sure. Well, but Kira, she she would have. Well, I, she did she, speak some foreign mm -hmm. language. She she spoke a different language to. Um, but then she started speaking English. Yeah, point. yeah, because you know kids are supposed to watch this. I, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> this is that's one of the other things about this movie. When I watched it as a kid, because I got it, but I, it, it freaks me out how early I watched this. Same. Because it, it must have been right after it came out. And my dad, he must have recorded it off of HBO or something, whenever, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like it came on HBO and he, rec he recorded everything off HBO. Yeah. So this was one of the ones where if my mom left the house for an extended period of time to do whatever it was that she was going to do and my mm -hmm. dad was left alone with us, we would watch maybe two movies all the time, like over and over and over, the same two movies, and it was always the uh, Empire Strikes Back <laughs> and this. And this one, as a child, terrified me. It was the scariest thing I had ever seen in my life. And even as an adult, it's still kind of one of those things, like subconsciously, it's like, ooh, I don't know, like what's going on here? John, why did you pick this movie? <laughs> <laughs> well, because as an adult, I loved it. Now, John, let me tell you something. I, too, watched it in my youth. <laughs> and I... This is one of two movies that I can recall back to you that have traumatized me. Oh. Yeah, and, Well, I didn't know that. You should have told me that. Oh, uh, well, I was like, you got it. It was really spooky. But as I was re-watching it the other day, like, I was, like, getting triggered all oh, over Oh, no. Like, I still I do, like, though. No, there yeah. are still scenes in this movie that I get, I'm like, oh, damn, yeah. like, this is fucking weird. And because I remember as a child, like, watching it, I'm like, what the fuck is happening, yeah, Dad? Yeah, yeah. Why like, are you making me watch oh, this? Oh, my goodness, like, when the Emperor comes up, like, even just, like, in the beginning, where are the... The Skeksis' eyes are all beaming at the... Yeah, yeah. first of all, creepy, but like whatever, I can give that a pass as a child. But when the emperor 
Like when he's like on his deathbed. Oh, and then he dies and he turns into ash. And yeah. Like, blah, 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 blah. So fucking great. But, but as an adult, the special effects, I was like, that's fucking cool. <laughs> as an adult, I appreciate the mystics a lot more. I didn't really care oh, for I the lo- mystics yeah. either. Well, that's the so, thing. The mystics never really made an impression on me until I was older. Yeah. Because I was like, oh, whatever. They're just boring. They're just like laying around doing whatever. That's like my dad. <laughs> 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 the mystics were my dad. <laughs> and I I don't know, it's just it's such a it really is a weird movie. Yeah. But at the same time as a creative piece of art and, and cinema, like it's a you know what I mean, like it's a combination of art and cinema like I don't know how to explain that. Like I mean Jim Henson was kind of doing that anyway. Even with the Muppet movie, mm-hmm. he was pushing the boundaries of how like a naked gen. Oh, yeah, that. like a hello Good introduction night. to a young character, completely naked, playing his flute, his uh, his actual not his flute. Skin flute. <laughs> At the He's side not of stroking bond. his bone. <laughs> 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 but like, but this is what I'm saying. Like, this is this is it's absolutely an, an amazing work of art because mm-hmm. it's all puppets. Well, I mean, there are some shots of like a, a kid in a suit. <laughs> yeah, which is very like, unfortunate like because it's very obvious. Well, this was one of the <laughs> first movies that was entirely puppets yes. outside of like the, well, I, I want to call them like stunt actors. Yeah. That were. Well, and that's, that's literally this, that's what this is. A, yeah. It's all puppets. Mm-hmm. You do not see a live person in any of this. Yes. Um, which is just, no it's one so cool. Person. Yeah. No, no, yeah. playing a live person. It's so cool. Yes. I and agree. For that aspect, it's a, like that's a that's an actor. Yeah, for sure. No, that's a puppet. <laughs> yeah, it is. But I love the puppet work. Yeah. There's an actor. See, it's so obvious. <laughs> <laughs> there's the author. Uh, there's an actor. There goes that person. <laughs> well, where's the puppet again? Where's the puppet again? <laughs> this, but, that's what we're gonna do. But this all whole, the mystics whole... are definitely puppets. Yes. And, but, but even them, it's kind of incredible how they... I mean, obviously, when they're in the suit and they're crouched down on their freaking knees, which, God, that must have been torturous to do that. Apparently, the mystic suits were, like, rough to be in because uh, the head is, like, their dominant hand, like, holding up. Oh, that's that right. And there's, like, oh, yeah, pulley yeah, yeah. systems because they have four arms. They have four arms, And it's, yeah. like, one person inside. Yes. And now I do know, like with some of the like the scene earlier where we were watching the guy like create the art on the ground. Mm-hmm. That was two different actors' arms doing things. Well, that makes po- sense. That, yeah, yeah. But when they're moving around and like they're doing things, it's yeah, just like one this guy person. dying. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So that's why their arms aren't quite as articulate in the scenes where mm-hmm. you see them full bodied. Yeah, because it's just dangly arm things. Do you know the They're original really person who um, wrote it? Was it David O'Dell? Is that who I'm thinking of? Um, who had, like, the original story for these characters. Uh, the mystics, like, everything's the same except the mystics have two arms. And in the movie, they have four arms. And that's because Jim Henson owns the rights to the four-armed ones and not the two-armed ones. Oh, would you look at that? Mm-hmm. So they gotta well, stay four. Jimmy Johns. Mr. Jim Jims. Jimmy Hans. Jimmy Jews. <laughs> Jim Did I say Jews? Jim Johnson? Jim I Hansen. think I said Jimmy Johns. Which I was not referring to sandwiches. <laughs> also, um, also here where, you know, his master's dying and he's like, oh, oh by the way, uh, should have told you sooner, uh, you have a mission, you gotta take a shard, you oh, gotta get yeah, back totally. the crystal, uh, BT- BT- they killed your people. Uh, <laughs> oh, is that the uh, layer of the big titty lady? Ooh, probably. <laughs> yeah, it is. Ag- Agura? I can't remember. Oh, yeah, name. he just said her name there. Agura? I'm only a gelfling. <laughs> Look at his haircut. Oh, God, whoever did that I to your hair, I feel so bad. I told these things long ago. I'm so sorry. I'm but now so I've old. given you They're the so tweet. beautiful, though. And also... As far as I know, for the design of these characters, mm-hmm. the mystics, the older they got, the more uh, design they had in their wrinkles. Ooh, like the design the one mystic was drawing in the sand? See That's how his face like. has, yeah. like, all the swirly the spirals, doodads, yeah. doodads and stuff? Mm-hmm. Like, the older they get, the more that happens. As far as I know, I think. <laughs> 
Maybe, maybe I'm wrong. Mm-hmm. Yeah, footsies, email us. <laughs> Tell yeah, me I'm let wrong. us know. One foot podcast at gmail.com. <laughs> Tell me I'm totally wrong and I should have known this because I should have read the books or some shit. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> which I did not do. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I also didn't read the books. I did want to get, there's a beautiful book on the art of this. You know what I mean? Like, it's oh, a, I it's bet. A gigantic like, coffee Jim table Benjamin book. Frank Oz, like, oh, I mean, geez. Well, it wasn't just them, that. but the artists that worked on it. What was the, what was the guy's name? Oh, the, you said it. Brian Froud. Oh, the, yeah. Brian Froud, yeah. Yo, that image there looks kind of like this thing here. Oh, never mind. <laughs> what were we looking at? Uh, the thing on the wall. It was popping out of the wall. And here we meet the Skeksis. Mm. And they just mm. seem... And that, dude, that, I hated that. Like, well, I, I hate this. your whimper. Oh, ah! I, totally, <laughs> I said it at the exact same time they did in the movie. I did not mean to do that. I was just quoting the movie because I say that all the time. I do that voice. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and that voice, I hate it. It makes me super uncomfortable. And as I'm watching this movie, I was like, oh, that's why. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah totally, from my totally, childhood. Totally. Traumatized. Uh, this, the outfits, though. Look at these. Ah, oh, it's so gorgeous. And this is mm-hmm. the thing, like, a, a lot of people interpreted this as... Like, cause remember when they tear off all his shit? Oh yeah, I thought they, they were birds, and I thought they were. Uh, oh, maybe you're the one that told me that that you yeah. thought that they were defeathering him. Yeah, but no, I no, no did. they're just ripping off his clothes because they have these elaborate, ridiculous clothes because they're such skinny little freaks. Yeah, I thought they were all birds. No, 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 no. It didn't occur to me that they were the um, other half of the mystics. Well, that too. Yeah. Which you don't that find that sense. out. Do you find that out? Do you know that? Well, already? you, I, well, did they tell you the uh, beginning? <laughs> he's so gross. He's so gross. That spooked me. It's spooking me now. Look at him. Well, yeah, he's like creepy. A, like an old feral dog that's like begging to die. I'm still emperor. God, they're so fucking cool, though. That's cool, though. Also, isn't there? It? Yes, it is a very good. They're so cool. Very, <laughs> See, tongue. Not real. <laughs> that tongue is I completely like tongue, not real, though. which we talked about Out of in all Galaxy the tongues Quest. we've seen, I like that tongue. Well, I mean, the tongue works, but it's still not real. <laughs> nah, well. But I love all the hairs. Like, I love all the hairs coming out of their chins and stuff. Oh, oh here's that creepy one. And you know how they did that? Do you know how they did that? Uh, I mean, it's it kind looks of like it was in maybe. reverse. No, 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 no. Why? No, it couldn't be in reverse because that would be ridiculous. They do. They built it with uh, oh, with like strings, strings. Yeah, inside, and they, and they just pulled it down yes. so it would break as it fell, mm-hmm. or you know, like if they pulled line. it. Yeah. Look at how out of focus this is. Over the widening the lens. It's a I guess. wide lens. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't notice that before. You know, Not what I'm watching I it in high notice? definition. <laughs> I didn't notice that, like, because like the mystics and the skeksis aren't. Like male or female? Oh yeah, I guess you're right. But, uh, but there are like feminine characters that I like absolutely missed until just now. Like I like I I had read about it, um, and I was like totally missed that. But I think I just saw one with like a little uh, the, what are those floofy collars and like teeny tiny little glasses. No, I'm just I'm sorry. I'm going back to the bubbly water. But I knew they were connected down. when the two of them died at the same time. Oh well. As an adult. See, 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 as an adult. Yeah. As a kid, this whole sequence did not mean anything to me. Mm-hmm. But then later, when mm-hmm. they're, like, disappearing off the... Do you remember that? When they're going across the field and oh, they yeah, start one disappearing? Oh, yeah, one-hand cuts and, yeah. Well, no, not that. But I'm, when they're disappearing... Well, it happens at the same time, yeah. Oh, is that at the same time? Mm-hmm. It freaked me the fuck out. I was like, what the <laughs> fuck is happening, <laughs> Dad? Just dropping off. Dad! <laughs> 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 I didn't say fuck, but... <laughs> But you felt it. I felt it. Mm-hmm. I felt the fuck word. Oh, dear master. <laughs> I'm not ready. Okay, I'll go. Oh, yeah. He's just pushed off into his journey. Yeah. He's like, I'll do it. This is a person. Yeah, that's an actor. Mm-hmm. Is it? Wait a minute. No, that's that's a puppet. Oh, that's a puppet. Look at those shoulders pushed forward. I could have yeah. done that part. I slept really <laughs> bad. But I could have been a gelfling. You could have been a gelfling. You certainly have the cabs I could still for it. be a gelfling, damn it. I want to be caught naked playing my flute. John. I only have the John, one. I've caught you <laughs> playing your flute. <laughs> you thought it was Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, look at that one in the back. Which one in the back? 
I don't know. It looks a little bit more elegant than the others. It looks a little bit The more red different. underneath, the red. Mm-hmm. Well, that one. Look or at maybe that, that one. Or that one in the back. Gorgeous. Now, okay. That one I want to bring up real quick. That was definitely what I was talking about. That they have been trying to make a sequel to this forever, right? Mm-hmm. Forever. And it can never quite get off the ground. And I think it's because, yes, this has a cult following for sure. Yeah. People love this movie. But it also is kind of like one of those cult also, followings that still isn't quite large. Do you know Jim, what I mean? Like, Jim it's Henson, still... Jim uh, always denied it. Always denied that they were ever talking about a sequel. Oh. But here we go with the, no. <laughs> with the TV series coming out. Well, now, the TV series is a prequel. This happens before. Yeah, and there were two prequel comics. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah. I think so. But, <laughs> anyway, so, but my thing is, is like, so when th- 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 there was this Jim Henson creature mm-hmm. shop reality show. Did you Look ever at, watch that? I didn't notice that before, how his wings were come up in the back. Yeah, like it's the back like the, the guy suit. from Galaxy Quest. Yeah, I didn't notice that. Yeah, yeah, So, yeah. Oh. The, oh. Look at all the hair. Look at the hair. Oh, I love the stone. hair. Oh, those pop things. Oh, it's oh. so good. It's oh. so good. Keep going. Sorry. Unless you want to watch that trial by stone, which is going to... Well, of gonna, course get triggered we're gonna have to oh wait you're <laughs> gonna get triggered for the stone really after the stone is when they um they shame him oh <laughs> they shame him oh, shame yeah. shame they strip him down doesn't one of them like chop the goddamn thing in half yes also isn't it like three dudes and not two hold on well there's only two swords yeah that guy so it's whimper, oh so whimpering apparently dude. Apparently, I don't know any of their names. Do they have names? There's like they have. <laughs> <laughs> this, this is the kind of thing I would do. Yeah, I Trial thought that they were gonna fight, stone. and then they just slap the stone around. I do like the movement a lot of the Chamberlain. Uh, they Chamberlain, are, thank you. I, well, that's okay. his title. They have like actual names. I cannot. Oh God, no! Remember, I but I remember them calling yeah, him Chamberlain. Yeah, right take right. the first blow, Chamberlain. Well, I was going to say your whimpering worm. <laughs> <laughs> also, look at those swords. <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> <laughs> I used to do that at Starbucks with a girl that I worked oh, look. with. Oh. And she also loved this movie. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and she'd be like, I hate your whimper. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, you were saying that the cult following isn't very big. See, I thought it was huge. Well, and, but I mean, like, I'm trying to think of how well, to explain today, that. I'll tell you, today I spoke to two people. I was like, oh, we're recording uh, The Dark Crystal. And the two people I mentioned it to both said, what's that? Or, I've never seen that. And I was like, how did you guys miss it? Because it's like a big part of, um, I don't know, the root of my fears and anxiety. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't, this is what I'm saying. I don't think a lot of people have, I think even if you know what it is, mm-hmm. you may not have seen it. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And now yeah. that Netflix is plopping the series on their mm-hmm. webby webs. Oh. You know what I mean? Like, I think I think that's going to generate some interest for it. And people are going to be like, what the fuck is this shit? <laughs> that, I think that's mostly going to be people's reaction. What the fuck is this? Yeah. Especially Ooh. if you go back and watch this. Because I feel like the, the new show is going to be a lot more articulate. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? Because the sophistication of puppet work has gotten beautiful. I mean, days. this still looks good. I mean, it still looks good. Not like going to lie. Uh-oh. Yeah, it actually does look good. He's got to pay. Oh, there he goes. He lost. Losing his claws. Uh, smoky, smoky stone. And now he screams. Ugh. I mean, he's also a drama queen. He sure is. But, like, as a child, I was like, he's in pain. And because I thought they were birds when they were, like, taking off his stuff. Now, see, as an adult, though, you can clearly see that they're removing his clothes and he's just a skinny little twig dude. Yeah. But this movie wasn't made for adults. Well, that's what I, I still do Oh, and he's hugging the wall. It's Look so at sad. his little belly. It looks like me. Organs, like little organs. That's me. Ugh. That's me without my clothes on. Bow down. That is me. exactly what I look like naked. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, I'm exaggerating. I don't quite look like that. <laughs> Although it does look kind of like my art, doesn't it? it <gasps> I was just going to say oh that. Oh, my God. Like some of your... Your um, because you do like exaggerated like movements, like or body body 
stuff. Stuff. Like that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god, maybe this subconsciously is <gasps> like coming out through oh. my art. Oh man. Oh, are they getting a phone call? <laughs> <laughs> from the crystal. It's totally like a phone call. Huh. The phone's ringing. The crystal calls. Go to the crystal <laughs> chamber. And you better hurry, but it's going to take you forever because it takes so long to walk in these clothes. <laughs> look at them lumping around. Oh, look, there's a little rat or something on the ground. Oh, look at that little fast one. And this is the other thing about the detail of all the characters, like not just the main characters, but like there's background shit happening all the time in this movie. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like little critters and things moving mm -hmm. and stuff like that. So puppet people had to be all over the fucking place dude let's not ignore the set oh god the set is as amazing. they walk from chamber what's the to budget chamber. do you know the budget the budget absolutely was whoo, 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 15 million 15 mi that's not very much no you want to know what their opening weekend was oh god probably a dollar <laughs> women no i five four dollars 4.6 million and they whoa they that's went. actually quite a bit well jim henson was jim henson 4.6 that's opening a pretty weekend. good opening weekend you know what they for, went at, and you know what they were going against what opened the same weekend 82 oh 82 well it wasn't star wars et oh <gasps> same weekend as et can we talk about traumatizing movie <laughs> No, 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 like, no, 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 seriously, I cannot, to this day, I cannot watch that movie. If you ever suggested it, I'd have to say no. I'd have to do a veto, because I can't watch you that movie. You only get one of those. Well, that's going to be the one. Well, not, Scarface, not oh God. Gone in 60 seconds. I wasn't going to veto that. That's at least fun to make fun of. Eleanor. Oh, my God. Can't wait. No, so, we still have none. Our poor fans have been like, we subscribe because of Gone in 60 seconds. <laughs> Uh, what the fuck is that? Well, you know what? We'll just, you'll wait, just like me. <laughs> <laughs> or just demand it. Yeah, email us. Yeah, or put it on our socials. One Foot Podcast. Uh -huh. So, where was I going to go with like that? E.T. E. No, 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 E.T. Yeah. So, when well, first After. of all, E.T. was one of the first films I saw in the theater, but I don't really remember it because I fell asleep. Mm -hmm. And then... Definitely the first thing I remember in the theater was the double feature of Sleeping Beauty and Tron, mm -hmm. which they were trying to sell Tron real bad. Yeah. <laughs> they, need, they needed that money. So they put it with Sleeping Beauty because they're like, well, people come out and see Sleeping Beauty. I love these costumes. Oh, yeah. So of the little, I don't know what those are. Tumbleweeds? They're like pink, wormy tumbleweeds. They're like sea creatures on land. They are Sorry. quite lovely. I just needed to point them out because they don't come up again. Oh, it's fine. <laughs> no, I mean, that's what I'm saying about all these beautiful details in this mm -hmm. movie that are just so much fun to look at. Yeah, like those little crab bits. Like those things? Yeah, all of this Stony is like sea crabs. creatures on the land. Oh, yeah, it is. Which is kind of like Galaxy Quest. God, there's a lot of similarities between these movies. Oh, love them. Love so, Galaxy Quest. Which, Galaxy Mixed Quest, if you didn't crystal. know. If you didn't know, people. If you're joining us because you hashtag Dark Crystal, mm -hmm. <laughs> you found this. Uh, we did Galaxy Quest last week. Well, the last two weeks. Yes. Part one and part two. Uh, but it, go back and listen to those. But, oh, she freaks oh, me out. Oh, that eyeball. <laughs> now, this girl, woman, I'm sorry, woman. There you go. This is voiced by Frank Oz. Mm-hmm. And he, I think he did the whimper. I think he did Chamberlain, too. I think. He, he did. He did one of the Skeksis. He didn't did. He? Didn't he do, um... No, Jim Henson did Jen, huh? And then Kira was Catherine Mullen. But yeah, Jim the, Henson did Jen? I think so. I didn't know that. Or maybe it was Stephen Garlic? No, they both did voices to the main characters, for sure. Huh. I mean, I'm not mad about it. It's fine. Hold on. I'll, I'll look it up to be sure. I love because Jim Henson. I know, also in the opening credits... The only, like, people listed were the performers, not the voice actors. And yes, I, I did know that. that. Yes, I did know that, yes. Because I thought that was great. Jim Henson did the High Priest. The High Priest. So that would be Yeah, other... and, and Frank Oz did uh, Chamberlain. High Priest number two. Oh, so he did Chamberlain. He also... Did he do her, though? Yes, he, he did. He did. Okay, yes. right. Well, in the test footage or whatever, like, bef the, 
what I was talking about earlier. Mm-hmm. They have like maybe it's her deleted scenes. I can't remember. Anyway, whatever, it doesn't matter. Yes. The and voice he, Oh, he was only the performer for Jen. Sorry. The voice um that he used originally and I'm gonna mess this up because it either sounded exactly like Miss Not- Piggy or it sounded exactly like Yoda. Or maybe it sounded like both, but he eventually fixed it and this is the voice he used. You know what? I wrote down I wrote it down like this. Uh, Stephen Garlick was the person who did the voice for Jen that Jim Henson was the performer of. Oh, so and, J- Jim Henson performed the puppet. Yeah, and Frank Oz performed um, the puppet for um, uh, Agra, and Billy Whitla- Whitelaw did the voice for her. Oh, so I see what happened. So the footage that I saw was probably Frank Oz performing the puppet mm-hmm. and doing the voice while he's doing it. Yes. So that's why it sounded like Miss Piggy or whatever it was. Yeah. Oh. Also, well, I've been telling people. I've Miss been Piggy. telling people that Frank Oz did her <laughs> voice for years. <laughs> so anybody listening to this that yeah. heard me say that before, well, I was wrong. <laughs> but I also <laughs> love that this, and I can't, I can't remember again. Like if it was in the deleted scenes or if you can tell, but she has. Pungulous breasts with gigantic nipples. Can you see that in the movie? Uh, no, I want to though. Like, seriously, they're ridiculous. And like, I, I remember, maybe it is only in the cut footage, but like, dude, it's, they're nuts. <laughs> I was like, holy shit. Like, you can kind of t- see their dangling down yeah they're dangling down i love when she squats oh i love that i love that that's like me that's like how it's like so you can kind of see you can kind of see those nipples coming through yeah but yeah we should see some of the footage afterwards yeah i'm down she's she's got like dude those things are swinging like doors (laughs) like barn doors and they've got big old spy holes coming out of them (laughs) (laughs) so nasty look at all the props and shit oh i was gonna say so i was gonna say a couple things here so the jim henson creature shop show that they did like a competition show to get the new person that would be working for the jim henson creature shop Mm -hmm. kind of like a oh i can't think of you know what i mean like a America's Next Top Model, or it was one of sure. those kind of competitions. Yeah, it was right? like Face Off. Face Off, thank you. Yeah, it was like that. So, but they would come in and create puppets or whatever and do all this crazy shit. There they are. Yeah, the there boots. they are. There's those titties. Wow. Yeah. That's a lot of, that's a lot of detail. That's a lot of the, Those are, those, they had to like try. Flashlights, man. <laughs> put those, put those nips in. My word. I love this set. Look at this fucking set. Man. I love the the universe, the planet. Is that not insane? No, yeah. fifteen million dollars. Fifteen million dollars was that, the budget. That's what it said. I'm sorry, but this looks like it costs a lot more than fifteen million. Their overall gross, well, fifteen million dollars in 1980. Well, I think that'll stretch yeah, a little but bit look further. At that. Look at that shit. That's got yeah. to have mechanics involved somehow where there's a motor generating that goddamn there's thing. There's probably just a bunch of people at the bottom just spinning it around, treating it like a puppet, like oh all the other puppets. Oh my gosh, you're probably right. But still, even that, I it's mean, a it's bunch building of it, performers. building that, building that set. Yeah, Give me a break. That's a fucking You're right, that's set. a lot. That's a lot. Because it's not that, live. That it's not, the there, this is back before we got like digital. Cardboard. <laughs> Well, it probably is. Yeah. They only have $15 million. <laughs> it's, paper mache. it's a paper mache cardboard set. Oh, my God. It probably is. Probably. Which is amazing. It's incredible. Yeah. God, I want to make films. Work. I really want <laughs> Tell me about Jim Henson's Creature Shop. Oh, uh, so, yeah. I wanted to talk about that. So, basically, they, to oh. me, anyway, I feel like they did that show specifically to get people to create... Muppets? More Skeksis for, for the <laughs> Because, like, the the, ba- the huge end challenge was to create a Skeksis and have a whole story for their character. And I was like, that's crazy. And they were beautiful. They did such a good job. But they also had, like, some of the original Skeksis on the set. Mm-hmm. Like, in the little glass case. Yeah. Uh, museum quality. You know, there's a, uh, there's a museum. Is that where? In... Georgia, I want to say Atlanta, maybe. Georgia. And it's got, it's a puppet museum, and it's got tons of Jim Henson puppets in it. That's pretty cool. We probably should I take like a trip. Thing. We should take yeah, a let's trip. Let's do it. Let's do a live show there. <gasps> yes. <laughs> At the puppet place. 
Yeah. We could watch a we could watch a puppet film. Oh. Oh, there's a lot of puppet films. I own a lot of puppet films. <laughs> I couldn't think of anything except for the the Muppet. That's a person. Um, <laughs> oh, yeah. I can't stop. Now. That's a puppet. Huh. No, wait a minute. Was it a person? It was a tiny child. Who I think, was. Yeah. Like that's, that's a puppet. That's a person. So this is what I'm saying. That person had to be the size of the puppet. Yes. Because there's no way that you know what I mean. They can't build two of these sets. <laughs> yeah, they had um. There was there's a, there was a so lot of like a child little people of like in the cast too. Oh, was it a little person or was it a child? I don't know. Because I don't want to be mean, but I feel like a, a a child would have had. Well, this definitely looks like the like the frame, like the dainty, like it looks like a child. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like yeah. a, like a skinny limbs kind of child of some sort. Yeah, some like someone that has not child that had puberty. Eaten yeah, in like two years. Yeah. So, <laughs> a starved child of some sort. Mm-hmm. Poor thing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, poor what's her name? Do you think she died? Did she come back later? She does come back oh, okay, later. Good. Okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> I can't remember. She, she's like in the next scene. <laughs> you know, this is also one of those movies that, like, I for sure I've definitely watched it a bunch. Uh huh. As an adult, I watched it once. As an adult, <laughs> I have watched it maybe four times. Wow! This probably is my fourth time. Wow! Not lying, to be sure. This is my second time as an adult. My first time was yesterday. <laughs> I I have owned it for a long time because I I couldn't not. As soon as it was on Blu-ray, I was like, "Well, I'm fucking having that shit uh-huh. on Blu-ray," because I knew it was going to be beautiful. Um, I owned it on VHS. And then I put it up on you the know, shelf. I don't think I ever had the DVD. And you know what? Anytime I had the desire to watch anything high fantasy, I chose Merlin instead. Oh, okay. <laughs> high fantasy. <laughs> I'm trying to think. High... Well, I mean, I also own Labyrinth. That was a must. Well, the, whenever people talk about Labyrinth, they talk about this movie. But Labyrinth was after this, right? It was after this, and they were like, not going to do it puppets again. Not complete puppets. No. Right. There are definitely puppets in the <laughs> But no, see, I mean, look, like all, all of... See, Ooh. all of this. All the, look, look, the little dudes. It's all alive. Everything's the alive. The world is alive, yeah. And this is another thing. It's kind of like when you go to... Have you been to the Animal Kingdom for... The, um, uh, when it first Avatar? opened? No. The new Avatar section? I have not been to Holy the shit. Avatar section. It's amazing. Is it really? Yeah, it is. You know, and you hear, at like, night... I didn't I mean, that's fine. Oh, okay. I mean, it, it doesn't matter if you like it. I mean, it was okay. I didn't hate it. I didn't hate it as much as I hated Titanic being the number one movie. Ooh! <laughs> um, definitely gonna get like, when that one that. beat it out, I was like, well, okay, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> At least it's, you know, it's got Sigourney in it. <laughs> that's true. It does have Sigourney. It does have Sigourney. Yeah. Sigourney um, Weaves. Miss Weevil. This one has Sigourney Weaver, too. Uh, you know, look at That's his... That's her. <laughs> look at his ears wiggling around. So great. Uh, everything. The detail. Yeah, keep going. I was going to say... Um, Avatar... No, so Avatar... Avatar reminds me a lot of this. Like, the world. Like, all of the stuff is mm-hmm. alive and kind of doing things. Okay. And, you know, but I was going to say at the park though, it's amazing. Does it light up at night? Yes. <laughs> and that's the best part about it. You, you have, if you go, you have to go during the day and, and then, then you have to see it at night because it's so different right because on. like everything, you know, everything looks so, cause like in the movie, it's like kind of boring. It's not very exciting during the day. <laughs> yeah. And then you stay when it gets dark mm-hmm. and it's like everything starts lighting off that you didn't even notice before. You're like, Oh shit, that was there too. Yeah. <laughs> like all these crazy things. It's beautiful. And to be authentic to their situation, the lighting is very low. So like everything is lit up and that's basically everything lighting your path. Oh, okay. So it is very, like... That's good. People, people with children, you're going to have to hold your kids' hands because your kid's <laughs> going to get lost. In fact, I told my sister, because we went with our, our whole family, and she mm-hmm. has, like, two boys that are kind of crazy. And uh, <laughs> I told her, I said, look, this is going to get dark. 
this gig. <clears throat> and they definitely wanted to stay until it got dark because they wanted to see it because my mom loves the movie and everything. So it was like, yeah. you know, we, we've got to stay until it gets dark so you can see all this shit. Mm -hmm. And I said, but look, I told my sister, I told everybody, I said, look, you've got to hold the hands of your kids when it gets dark because you're not going to be able to see anything. Or at least tether them. Ooh, with what? With like a braid? I mean, it is. <laughs> it's, oh, yeah! Like <laughs> I mean, but I'm just saying, like, you've got to hold on to your kids because you're going to lose your fucking kids. Yeah. I'm serious. Oh, like, for it's, sure. it's a. It's weird. In fact, it's the one thing that I think is weird about the whole thing. I mean, yes, I think it's amazing, but I'm also an adult that doesn't get lost. <laughs> I am like, an adult. A bunch but I of do kids. Get lost. Freaks me out. Yeah. Like, I'm like, oh my god, kids go to this park and it's like, you can't get see abducted. anybody. Get abducted by perverts and know it's dark there? Oh god. Oh, I hope it didn't. Oh shit. Oh, uh, tell the perverts no. something they didn't. Okay, know. if you're a pervert, you're listening to my fucking podcast. Get the fuck out of here. Our podcast. Oh, our podcast. <laughs> <laughs> I took it again. It's mine. <laughs> that was just a callback. <clears throat> yeah. I like to take things. So, anyway, but guess what? Oh, I'm, that was the whole point of me telling you this. Her son got lost. 100% got lost. And it was like literally minutes after I told her. Percent, take a drink. Oh, shit. God damn it. <laughs> it's the first one I've noticed. I'm certain we've said it before. Look at that little kid digging a bath. Look at that little Jen. Look at that little, little Jenny Boo. Oh, look at that little Kara. Eating oh, wait a minute. Was it Kara or was it Jen? Yeah, they're, they're, um. They're, oh, Kara's is girlfriend. No, their memory. Oh, they're, oh, sharing they're sharing whatever. because they touched, right? Yeah. Which is like. Did that, does that ever come up again? That when they touch, they can... Yeah, like, do they share memories Sometimes again? Sometimes when them? we touch, the, the memories, memories are too much. much. <laughs> <laughs> I want to close my eyes. Right? Yeah, and watch our race die. Oh, <laughs> That's what happens. They relive that. That is true. Look yeah. at those slimy ass fucking hands. Well, Ew. the one is slimy because he's in like the thing. Swampy I'm ass thinking. Hand. Oh my gosh, my hand was up in my butt. I don't move. Where would I go? <laughs> <laughs> now, do you know who she reminds me of? Miss Peggy. She reminds me of Miss Peggy. Oh no, I was gonna say. I think Stevie it's the Nicks. way she turned. <laughs> <laughs> She even sounds like her. That's so funny. That, that's like yes. totally Stevie Nicks. <laughs> it even looks like her. Mm -hmm. Just a Nebri. <laughs> oh, is this coming up on our uh, halfway point? Yeah, it sure is. Oh my gosh, kids. Can you believe it? You know what? It's what? 90 minutes. It's a short movie. It's probably a one-up. You think? Are we going to one-up this? And We did. We, we one-up the, uh, the last 90. The Killing. The Killing, true. Okay, fine. Hey, kids, guess what? It's a one up. <laughs> <No> two parters. <laughs> You're only gonna get one of this. Yeah, this movie uh, just. Do you think people will be long. sad? You know, I feel like that's true. <laughs> <laughs> In fact, I'm not gonna lie. When I and this is no dig on Stanley. This is more about like so much content of story in the film. I thought the killing was longer. I thought this movie was longer. Well, I thought this movie was like three hours long. <laughs> oh, yeah, for sure. Now, this is not, I mean, it's not like a dig per se about the movie. There's but, a lot of, I think it's the mystics moving and so I think us slowly. A <laughs> I think us having a commentary about this is actually working for the film. Because, <laughs> because it's like, it's, uh, this is, I was going to take, I was going to say this earlier. This is one of those movies that like, as an adult, especially, it mm -hmm. is very hard for me to get through this watching it by myself alone or whatever. Yeah. Like, it's not one that I'm like, I usually pop it on to fall asleep. <laughs> wow. I, and, you know, it's another, horrific. Look at that, look at that, look at that Skatsky eating noodles. He's eating a... No, not that one. Not that one. That will... <gasps> no, not that one either. I don't like that Where's one. the... <laughs> That's the feminine one. He looks too much like a... Oh, look at or that one. That, that would be me. One. That He's would be me. Blush. Look at the blush under the eyes. But look at the dainty way. <laughs> I'm going to eat my little thing. Oh. That's me. I'm lying. That I'm not me. That's how I eat a potato. <laughs> God, I want a potato. Just like a baked potato. Just uh, like a, you know what I want? I want fist. roasted potatoes. Mm -hmm. God dang it. We should have got potatoes. <laughs> oh, yeah. You know what? Yeah, we messed up. Oh, I did get some. 
I we get some cheesy nib things. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I lost them. Oh well, now they're gone. Well, I ate them all. Did you really? What? Wait, what? Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> <laughs> I've been here. You know what? People, that, that's like there's an episode of 30 Rock that's like that where like somebody puts a steak down in front of Liz Lemon and they, <laughs> they like turn away move the camera and then it comes back to her and it's completely gone and she's like, what happened to your, like, and that's just like me because you put food in front of me, especially that's food. That's the one with I, the noodles. Look at them. Oh, there you go. <laughs> especially when. I love the food that you put in front of me. Mm-hmm. Dude, that shit's gone real quick. I don't care what it is. I'm going to eat it. And people are always amazed about it. And yeah. I'm like, what did you think I was going to do? Just sit here and look at it? I don't Instagram my fucking food. I'm eating it. <laughs> That's like ice cream, like Ben & Jerry's. Mm-hmm. Dude, those things are gone. So, like Jason, I'm not joking. This happened before. Where like I had some and Jason's like, oh, that looks good. I should try some. And then like, you know. Less than 10 minutes later, he's like, oh, let me get a bite of it. Well, it's gone. I <laughs> ate it like a while ago. <laughs> That's why if you see me with something that you think you want to try, you best get it real quick. Yeah. And you better not take too much of it because it'll piss me the fuck off. <laughs> like a little tiny bite. Like a French a fry nibble. out of the whole thing. Maybe half of a French fry. And it better not be one of the crispy ones. Because <laughs> that's my favorite. I like the soggy ones. No, I like some crisp. I like potatoes. No, I love it. I love, I, oh God, you know what's even better? You go to a diner. Oh, here's your girl. Breasty She's girl? back, yeah. Breastica? Oh, that's my friend's name on something. <laughs> Breastica, I, right? Is that I, her name? I, now I everybody's going to look up my friend. Dummies. Does she only have one horn? Or is the other one like off kilter? I thought the other one was off. Maybe she's off kilter. Yeah. Like, is it under her hair? Oh, God, God, stupid Gotham. <laughs> I swear, this is going to be me as an old person. Yeah. With tits and all. Mm-hmm. I'm going to get implants so they can fall down. <laughs> <laughs> With gigantic nipples on them. she got some pointy nipples. Yeah, she does. How crude. I'm telling you, the deleted scenes These or whatever have way more of her crude. breasts in it than Can't believe they're calling does. her crude. Nah, there she goes squatting. Every yep, time, that's me. Every time she goes to squat, it's like I am expecting her to, to lay defecate in. on the floor. <laughs> well, that too. Because I feel like, <laughs> I think that that would be most in character for her. Honestly, upset, she might be. Drop a deuce and then leave. She's like, well, I'm also gonna do. This. <laughs> she just slowly squats down. That was digital, huh? No, not digital. Oh, it was the, uh, the optical, or what do you call it? Um, yeah, optical. I mean, the castle was too. That was definitely not. Yeah. That was photographed weird. Yeah, it sure was. <clears throat> do you know what I think is fun is like pointing out stuff like that in like more modern films, like Batman, mm-hmm. the first one, Tim Burton. There are animated moments in that movie. 100%. Right oh, shit. God damn it. I don't have a beer. Oh, no. Also, I think it's funny that you're drinking for it. It's for the, the people. Oh, it's for the kids at home. Uh-huh. Well, I want some, too. Go get your beer. Do you want one? Yes, please. <clears throat> yes, please. And now we're with Jen and Kira as they float along this river going to deliver this crystal for some reason because a mystic told them so and because they had a memory share and they're like all super connected and they're just like the two last gelflings in the world and honestly when they met and held hands and had that whole memory thing going on i was like these two are gonna bone because like they got to right they're obligated they're the last of their species opposite in gender perfect time for mating weird sketchy bird in the sky. Kira is obviously going to talk to it because that's what she does. She's got some kind of podling language. And that podling language, podwing language, uh, is, um, did you know the podling language is a mixture, and I think of it as like the minions and like Despicable Me. It's a mixture of three languages, um, Croatian, Serbian, and Bosnian. Oh, wow. Yeah, so it's got, and they'll use the like they'll use the words in like appropriate spots. Like if she's saying something in regard to water, it'll be like the proper word for what water and whatever tongue, 
Oh, she's really? Like working with. Yeah. I think they she has like a different accent on them, on the words, but it's like the same words. You know what I mean? Huh. Okay. <laughs> like the difference between I could be wrong, but I but I want to say it's like the difference between like Bravo and then like saying like Bravo. You know? Oh, okay. It's still the same word. Ah, oh, they're at their they're at her clan. Look at those podlings. Look at them with their little hats. Their little what? Nets. Hey, boo. Kissing all what? their little fizz gig type creatures. Those little pets. Look at him. He's like meowing the fuck out of me. Uh-huh. Well, he knows you're going to listen. What? He just wants your attention. What do you want? John. Well, yes. I'm sorry. My, my cat's meowing bring, at me. Bring it. Bring it back. I'm sorry. I got to figure out my cat. Look. Look at these podlings. Look at them. Look at all them. Look at all them. They're adorable. Did you know there was a cut scene? Um, were they having they... sex? God, I wish. <laughs> <laughs> a big orgy scene with <laughs> Like a weird orgy scene <laughs> where they're like, you know what? Forget about this crystal. <laughs> Who cares about the crystal? Yeah, we got to save shard. our dead race. Now, he got the shard, right? He got the shard. See, this is the thing that about this movie, looking back at it as an adult, it's like, it was that quick for him to get the fucking shark. Yeah. I mean, I feel like it should have been a long... Like, Ooh, even Dorothy in The Wizard of Oz had more trouble with this kind of shit. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. Don't you think? Yes. All right. No, no, no. Look, look at these podlings. Look at this whole thing. Look at this whole doodad dig. dig. Aren't they miners? Aren't oh, these yeah. podlings miners? <gasps> oh, my Did God. You know? They're like the dozers from Fraggle Rock. Or doozers? Dozers? Yes. Doozers. Those, those things. For sure. They had a mining scene, and they were uh, that was cut, and they like went into a lot more depth. And instead, Frank Oz and them just used it to for Fraggle Rock, and that's where that's where the Dozers, Fraggle Dozers? Rock came up. Oh. Dozers, I, you know, honestly, I I, I just it. know they danced their cares away. And maybe I their worries watched for another that day. religiously. Mm-hmm. And it still, I mean, I would love to go back and watch it because I, I kind of want to know what it was like. You know what I mean? Like as an adult to go back and watch yes. it. Yes. I feel like everybody make fun of me. But but I really oh. want to know. Like, I want to oh. know what it's like. Let, let, them, let them fight me. Yeah, well. Um, just because I have so many memories of that show, but mm-hmm. I couldn't tell you what happened in any of it. But our, our pets were named after all the Fraggles. Right on. Yeah, like Moki was our cat, mm-hmm. Wimbley was our dog, <laughs> Red and Gobel were our fish. Uh. Gross. Not your fish, that burp. Oh, yeah, no. The fish probably passed away. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it was, what, 1983 or whatever? Yeah. Oh, gosh, wait a minute. No, when did 80... Fraggle Rock come out? God, I don't know. But I remember, like, them... You venturing out with the the big people, or I don't, I don't remember all the names of everything, but they would go to the trash lady, and she had spectacles or whatever. Uh huh. Do you remember what I'm talking about? Uh. She's a big trash heap. She's a big trash heap. I don't have I don't have that information for you. Oh, I'm sorry. She's not important enough, apparently. She's not. They local. go to her all the time. She was like a main character. I don't know. Um, Johnny Moki, Moki Fraggle. No, I know Moki. Of course I know Moki. Marple Mergle. I don't. God, I really don't know. I, I couldn't tell you. I, <laughs> well, <laughs> well, she was a big character. Well, I can't Google anything. Google Trash Fraggle Rock or something. I don't know. Trash yeah. Fraggle Rock. Fraggle trash. Rock, trash. Trash heap. There you go. Look, well, there she is with her glasses. Wa- wonderful. I've seen troubles. Does she sing? Oh my god. I am pretty sure. And what are these things called? Do they say what it says? The same thing? What? The gorgs. The gorgs. The gorgs okay. Gazebo threatens the majority of the trash heap. I think she's called the trash heap. Is she really just called the trash heap? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's great. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, well, there you Marjorie go. the oh Marjorie the trash oh Marjorie heap. the trash heap. Okay, yeah. well Marjorie, well here I'm gonna drink a little for you. It's for Marjorie and percent. Ah, there you go. Oh yeah, hundred percent. 
<laughs> for Marjorie. <laughs> oh man. Now the the gelflings are uh, fleeing the crustacean puppets, muppets. Muppet? No, not muppets. Aren't puppets. they muppets if they've got like the fur and stuff on them? I don't know. What what is the definition of a muppet? I think a muppet <clears throat> is like more people like. That oh. was not me. Not me. That was our neighbor. If you heard that, I don't know if it. It sounded like it was between the walls. <laughs> Uh, it, everything like, sounds like it's between the walls. There is definitely something living in the walls. <clears throat> yeah. We're recording this at, at my place this time. Yeah. John has a person in the walls, too. Yeah, well, you know. His name is Marvin. Marvin Malanke. Yeah. Oh, Jen blames himself. Oh. Garthens have always come. Is this a lull? <laughs> <laughs> I love this image here. Oh god, that's like, beautiful. I really enjoy oh, like, that's on the, that's this on image. The, uh... Is it? Is it on the back? <gasps> oh, right it there. is. Look at that. Spoiler. There's only four. Spoilers. Well, I mean there's nine. Oh, shit. Eight yeah. here? No, there's more than that. Look. They're just behind the thing. Oh, okay. Uh so <laughs> Look at them. Oh man. We questioned whether Oh, oh my god, he's coming in here. <laughs> Gross. Are you talking about the kitty cat? My keepy pews. My keepy pews. You know what's going to happen? He's going to jump up here, Johnny. He's totally going to jump up here. You know why? Because you're here. Mm. <gasps> oh, shit. You're allergic. Oh. Oh, poor little poopsie. Hey. Hey. hey up, no. Up, up, up. Come here. Am here. I getting him off? Do you want me to get him off? No. Yeah, I'll get him off. I'll get him off. Don't touch him. Don't touch him. Come on. Come on, little babies. Come on, little babies. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. The cat does not want to leave me. <laughs> He has hooked himself in. <laughs> oh no, my bag! <laughs> oh, shit. Come here, come here, come here. Uh, so footsies. Uh, fun fact. I was looking up stuff, listening to stuff, researching stuff about uh, this feature, and apparently, Mr. Jim Henson was super inspired by something called Oh yeah, you need to talk about the this. Seth material. I had never heard of this. Well, I hadn't either. And <clears throat> um as uh indicated through Wikipedia, I'm just going to read it directly. The Seth material is a collection of writing dictated by Jane Roberts to her husband from late 1963 until her death in 1984. Roberts whoa, whoa, whoa. From 1963 until... 1984. That's a long fucking time. That's a long time. I didn't realize that part. Okay, yeah. keep going. Roberts claimed the words were spoken by a discarnate entity named Seth. The material is regarded as one of the cornerstones of New Age philosophy and the most influential channeled text of the post-World War II New Age movement. Other than Edgar Case, other than Edgar Case books and a course in miracles, John Climo writes the that the Seth books were instrumental in bringing the idea of channeling to a broad public audience. So apparently, Homegirl like went into like a meditation zone and just was like talking a bunch, as like this Seth dude was like channeling Seth, and Seth was talking and her husband was just like jotting it down and they did like. These whole book series. Like, there's a bunch of citations for, like, Ouija. You know, I feel like we should do that. Uh, like, experiment with a Ouija board? No, I mean, like... Because that was part I'll of her... i just write a bunch of shit saying, no, channel through Ashley. <laughs> <laughs> Make it a new religion. Yeah. They, One they, where yeah. all gays are accepted no matter what. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Gays are preferred. Gay, always. Preferred? <laughs> Over straighties. I think Oh, equal, no, I'm just kidding. Equal, equal opportunity. Equal. We're not like that, for sure. No. We're not going to but be like But you know, like a little bit more oppressors. representation of the gays would be nice. Well, yeah, no, that would be true. Always. I'm opening uh, up a bag. I'm sorry. I'm opening up a bag. I'm opening up a bag. Yeah, but the, uh, the one Skeksy that was the like... The Chamberlain. The one, the first Chamberlain that like got de-clothed, dethroned, yeah. he's on screen now. He, she is on screen now. Oh, he, she. Mm -hmm. Yeah, trying to uh, trick, trick Jen 
And here Kira is like, don't trust them. It's a uh, Skeksky. They killed us. They killed our race. And he's like, no, trust me, trust me, trust me. And uh, Jen's like, okay. Yeah, but he's not completely wrong. I mean, I think he wants something out of it. And Jen is super naive. Oh, God, he's being hypnotized by the Skeksy, right? Something. And she's like, no, come on. Please. You know what I would be interested in? Tell me. If I were Jen. Mm-hmm. I'd be like, wait a minute, which Skeksy, I mean, which mystic are you connected to? Like, my uncle? I don't think his uncle would be dead. I mean, you know what I mean. Please, please make peace. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that would be me. <laughs> please make peace. <laughs> please. Please. <laughs> 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 Kira, like, makes calls like Xena, warrior princess. Only Xena's way better. You know, I love that episode of, um, I gotta talk about these people in a second, but Xena, when, uh, when, the, the what's her name warrior was? warrior forged in the heat of the battle. What was her name? What was her, what was her girlfriend's name? Gabriella! There you go. When she had to, like, impersonate her for something, <laughs> and she tried to do her call. It was I remember hysterical. that. I, she was like, yee! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what a weird thing to remember. But I also, I remember that. <laughs> oh, I love that. <laughs> so these were kind of invented. Go ahead. I mean, obviously for the film, but the, the creatures they're writing. Yeah, they're called what know. is it? Lamb Striders, I think. Ooh, maybe. Or I think why well, that might just be what they called them behind the scenes, Lamb Striders. Oh, fizzy gig. But, and I can't remember what the, I can't remember exactly, <laughs> like somebody came up with this idea for these characters, mm -hmm. and basically what they are is these weird, what are they? Moth looking things? Sort I don't know, of? they look like um, the things from Star Wars. Oh, the, um. The At-Ats? Mixed at -ats, with, um. Maybe? Yeah. Now you see what they are. It's on stilts, men on stilts. Yeah. Well, maybe a woman. I don't know. But um, <laughs> could be a woman. There are people on stilts, mm -hmm. but they've got stilts for their legs and their arms, so they're kind of like four legged. Yeah. They're. I mean, come on, that's ingenious. It's so beautiful. It is. I also like that they have like the crustacean, like the octopus crustacean, like like a Zoidberg mouth. Oh like yeah, a, ooh, or like an ood. From yeah, Doctor yeah, Who. yeah, 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 yeah. That thing. Yeah. That thing. We're eating some cheesy things. <laughs> We're so laid back in this episode. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Oh man! It oh yeah, this me. this part's creepy. This is like no. Super creepy. So what the Skeksis are doing? And what we learn in this scene as well is that they're taking the essence of the podlings and they're doing it by making them stare at the crystal very, um... A clockwork orange. A clockwork orange, yeah. And it's, like, not cool. No, no. And so as, like, as they stare at the crystal... Uh, their essence is drained into a vial, and that vial is then given to the emperor to give him like what everlasting life or something. Like you he's know, like a Sanderson sister. And I was gonna ask about this because I'm kind of confused. Because at the beginning of this movie, mm -hmm. we watch the Skeksis stare at the crystal and get the purpley glow thing. Yeah, to just their like eyes. just like the Podlings. So, what happens to them when they do that? You know, I don't know. Because if they're collecting their shit... I should read the comics. ...into the jars, mm -hmm. I mean, clearly something is coming out of it, but why doesn't it do that for the Skeksis? What does it do for them? Yeah, oh, and the Podlings age like, Oh, yeah, really they hard. like... Oh, oh, it's so creepy. And they lose, like, a sense of self, and so they become slaves. Mm. Oh, it's so creepy. Yeah, oh, his hair turns white. Oh... Also, that would take a lot of work, for sure, to age the, um, the podling. The puppets? Yeah. There'd yeah. be several puppets, for sure. Right? Well, oh, yeah. 
And look at him. Oh, God, it's so Aww. sad. It's See the realism of oh, it. Oh, and like how heavy they're breathing because you know he's it's like, like <gasps> daunting on them. Like, oh, you can see it. Oh, God. Oh, but the that. emperor drinks it and it looks like he ages a little bit more instead of like becoming more useful. But does he age or what does he do? Well, look at his um. <laughs> he looks himself in the mirror. Gross. No, no, he he reverts back. He's he's. It's like uh, it's like uh, Hocus Pocus. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, it's it's exactly. Yeah. This yeah, is this is the plot of Hocus Pocus. <laughs> Oh my Except, god, it is! I think his his hand ages. Something happens. Like he becomes weaker. Well, yeah, but that was there's a reason yes. for it. Young. See, look, there's yeah. a re like he, it goes back because he doesn't have enough or something. Mm, and then there's said, oh, you're right. Like no, and I need eight billion. Oh no, because that's what it was. They use the youth of the the gelflings, uh, the gelflings and the yeah. gelfling shit worked. Yeah, and when he like leaves, he's like, the gelflings worked better. The gelflings were better. Oh, and now they that. only have the podlings, which only does it for a temporary amount of time. Did they try it with her? Maybe she's got in those big juicy boobs. <laughs> <laughs> Her breasts are the key to like. Her, her breasts are the key to the everlasting, everlasting youth. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness! And then that would be a different movie, a really weird movie <laughs> because be they would be super, suckling super on her adult. breasts. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be Give like me that weird. Big and all with their beaks. <laughs> oh God! Ew. Oh, and she would just have attitude the whole time. Oh yeah. She is saucy, girl. You know she be and selling saucy. that shit. Yes, she be selling she it. She's a spicy puppet. She be like, "How much you? How much? You, how much you gonna give me for that?" Oh, look at all those podlings. Look at Save all that. Them. Look at all that uh, composite shit, though. Why yeah. do they have to do that? <laughs> because they had a fifteen million dollar budget. Yeah, but I mean, like, why? You know what I mean? It was part of the vision. They already started when they realized they had all the scenes. They were missing like a little clip to make it make sense, and so they added it in. No? Maybe to match the sky. Mm, maybe. Woo! Maybe they filmed that angle and it was too dark or something? No. Because, see, look, that cloud sky is different than the other one. Yeah. Well, now we're at a fight scene where the, uh... The they're beetle right, they're, things? Yeah, with the ood things are all Aww. fighting. Oh, no, the oods are dead. Oh, God. This movie's violent. Jim Henson was all about kids having fear, though, right? That was like I think his so. thing. He was yeah. like, he was like, children should be a little afraid. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like a little. Oh, buddy. Wings? I don't have wings. No, no for real. No, I'm sorry. I wings. have my mouth full of chips yeah. or crisp or whatever the fuck called. Wafers, crackers, yeah, whatever. A snack. A snacky poo. Yeah, what the fuck, bitch? You waited until now to tell me you got wings? Why didn't he see her first flight? Wouldn't that be something in their, like, flashback thing? In their memory share? Yeah, exactly. If they shared all their fucking memories, what, you don't remember me flittering my fucking wings to get some attention? <laughs> to get attention? <laughs> like, like she was in school and she wanted to impress the boys and so she, like, pulled like, out her wings. <laughs> <laughs> The landslide Well, I think it was just like Keystone down. memories, but like, what about when she learned to fly? I love that opening. Of the mouth? Yeah, it's, learning, it's very to, Aladdin. Yes, learning to fly. I was going to say it's a lot like Kabiria, the silent film. Okay, maybe. Which, which, there, okay, for fuck's sake, there is mm -hmm. a theme park in Italy attached mm. to Cinecita Studios, which is where Fellini made all of his films. It's a big studio. Mm-hmm. Gangs in New York was also filmed there. Oh, right on. I mean, lots of fucking moves are filmed there. It's uh -huh. ridiculously huge. Here's the and they still have all the sets. But anyway. Right on. There is a theme park that is movie themed. Oh, and you, you enter the theme park through the big mouth thing from the Kabiria silent film. That's actually very cool. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know how badly I want to go to that? I, I think it's very very I badly. mean, the level of very is very high. <laughs> Would you maybe consider it to be very, very high? Yeah. <laughs> That's a bucket list moment right there. 
Right you on. know, what did they use for all those critically crawlies on the ground? Oh, I guess that's a puppet. Those are puppets. I imagine that they were attached to, like, a fishing line. <laughs> yeah, but how do they twirl? They're just dragging them. I don't know, the same way they twirl a um, a bowling ball. Maybe there's, like, a pancake weight inside of it. Huh. That's a weight that's, like, flat and, like, down the center. Because bowling balls aren't, like, they don't have, like, a... Thing you know what bowling balls are filled with? It's, like, ridiculous. Have you ever seen one cut open? With, like, the weights? Yeah. All kinds of shit in there. Mm-hmm. There's old, uh... What do you call shoes? that? <laughs> <laughs> old, my old shoes. They <laughs> <laughs> bowling balls. Oh, Old no. Skeksis that they had like <laughs> <laughs> No, they got like uh what is it? Pool pool balls. What are those called? Mm, see? All right, so Jen cut the hand of this Skeksky with the crystal. And oh, this yeah. mystic is like so my hand. Just cool with it. And he's got a little ponytail like they're a, so what is that? Zen, a man bun. They it's a know man that bun. They can't like change anything and they're just like if I die I die. But now they're making a journey to get there. Yeah. They are. Now, did they ever explain why? Other than the fact that they have to be there to remerge with their doodads. Nothing. They, they, don't really they didn't talk explain about anything it. that I, if they did, Which is I didn't another understand thing. it. There's another thing about this. Like, the element of, what the fuck is happening in this goddamn <laughs> movie? <laughs> I mean, obviously I love it. But at the same time, it's like, what the fuck, man? I mean, you know, we get it now. Yeah, also... But as a child, this is fucked up. Agura also seems to have a lot of information. Who's Agura? The 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 oh, big, big breasted titty. lady. Yeah, she seems to have a lot of information, <laughs> but she's such like a. That would have been me. <laughs> well, they thought they were extinct. <laughs> also, their hands this guy in the air. <laughs> 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 With their fancy outfits and their handkerchiefs and shit. Oh! Mm. Gelflings! But now they have to get the Gelflings so that they can well, get the Well, this guy has it and he's like, Remember me? I brought the Gelfling. Me! And I've been me. wounded in battle. <laughs> yeah. That's true. Yeah. Oh, I whimper at your feet. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him with this cross eye. <laughs> I have done this. <laughs> I hate him. Well, I don't hate him. But I don't I like him. I hate him. No, he's terrible. Look at that thing. Mm. He could have brought two living gelflings, but yeah. Uh... Yeah, exactly, bitch. You only brought one. No. She's mine. Uh, <laughs> but what, what was I saying? Oh, Agura. Agura, the, the big-breasted... Lovely, that spicy puppet. She seems to have so much information that she, like, won't share. Like, when she looked at Jen, Jen came over and she was like, Oh, you want a crystal? Do you need a shard for the crystal? Do you? Huh? 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 And she, like, pours out some crystals. She's like, Bet you don't know which one. And she, like, goes off. And then Jen's all, like, like, plays the flute. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) That was her shaking her titties. Yeah. (laughs) Jen plays the foo and like confused. has like a memory. <laughs> <laughs> confused yeah. are you? Yeah, she's like an anti Yoda. <laughs> mm. Jen figures it out. Help you, I will not and know. She's like, oh, you found it. Bet you don't know what to do with it. She's like a troll. <laughs> Picture it. <laughs> Looking for the crystal, you are not. <laughs> Oh, you came my here. Like you are. Oh, Gelfling, Gelfling. Should have been dead. Gelfling, Gelfling. <laughs> She's like, what? What are you doing here? <laughs> and even here, she's all like caught up. Oh my god, again. Her eyeballs on the table. She's like watching people. And she's got so much information. Look at her. She's just like smelling things and looking at things. And then when the Gelfling comes in, she's just like, mm, I know how to get out of this situation, but do she? No. No. No, she don't. Like, me and my big tank. Get out of it, you wonder. It's like, I squatted down. It's going to take me forever to get back up. <laughs> She's laying Excuse an me. egg. <laughs> She's laying her egg. <laughs> you know, seriously, I really don't understand why they didn't try to get the essence of her. I mean, don't you think they would try? If you tried it on the podlings, why wouldn't you try it on the big tea lady? Well, it's probably too spicy, man. It is 
That shit would be good. <laughs> you know that shit be good. That'd be like New Orleans kind of shit. That'd be ah! awesome. <laughs> it's like full of like crawfish. <laughs> mm, yeah, tasty. crawfish and spices. Yeah, and here she goes, like losing all of her essence. Elsons of God. I love that little doodad. The vial? Yeah. Uh, pretty intense. I love Fizzy Gig. Apparently, I haven't watched this enough. <laughs> oh, maybe, but that, maybe this comes back up where they're connected. He's like, Kira, fight them. Kira, Pull out your wings. Okay. Yeah, and so now she's like, Call the animals. I know you can do them. Call them Boo- to freedom. <laughs> <laughs> oh my that, god, this exactly. is totally Hocus Pocus. Yes. <laughs> this is the exact same movie. Look, there's a cage. Yeah. Hocus Pocus. Well, yeah. Well, no, they're held in cages because they're taking their essences. Yeah, but don't you remember in Hocus Pocus they were in cages? Yeah, she did that with the boys. Totally. Yeah. This is Hocus Pocus. This was where's, where's Sarah, Mich- uh, Sarah Michelle Keller? No, that's not right. Sarah's just like a Parker. Yeah, these are different people. <laughs> Some three named Sarah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh. Which one is which one is Sarah Jessica Parker? Oh, uh, it's the one that's the dopey one. Which one's the dopey? Or the one? hot one. The one with the blush. Oh, that's the, one. the hot one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the, 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 when she first saw the girl thing, she's like, whoa, look out there. <laughs> yeah, straight up. A muck, a muck. Well, who would be Bette Midler? The uh, emperor. Oh. The, See, current, I the thought current emperor. The current emperor. Yeah. Well, and who the hell is Big Titty Lady? Big Titty Lady is Zachariah Binks. Oh. Well, no, but Zachariah Binks knew a wait, lot. Wait, Zachary or, Binks. D- Zachary Binks. Didn't know. No, wait a minute. Is that the same crystal? Because I feel like it's a different rock. That is it's not the, same the dark crystal. crystal. It's the same crystal. No, it's no, no, no. It's not a doohickey no, that bends no. it down. No. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Boom. Oh, there goes that one. In flames. Shit, Didn't man. Didn't even see it coming. I mean, unless they did and they can see the future or whatever or like, something oh, I didn't understand. Oh, that but. one went, okay. Yeah, but why would they even turn to look then? If they already knew. They were like, like, we gotta go. We still gotta keep moving because we uh, slow like as it's fuck. Like, it's, it's a time stamp. We gotta get is. there before this 93 minutes is up. <laughs> <laughs> before so, this podcast episode is uh, over. <laughs> so, in the U.S. Uh, of the year of 1982... Oh, yeah, what else came out? Oh, you said E.T. Yeah. Which I didn't finish guess my how, E.T. Can how it ranked? Can you guess how it ranked? Oh, for, like, movies that year? Yeah. Oh, year. low. Like, 50, 60. I don't know. No, no, no. It was in the top 20. Really? 16th. Oh, I was born uh, on November gross. 16th. 16th. Different in year. In France but... and Japan? Oh, this is probably huge there. It was the highest. Wow. In 1983, so the year after when it released well, overseas. Oh, okay. Uh, it was it was number one. I was about to say did they beat E. T. in other countries too. Like that'd be weird. Mm-hmm. What was the top movie? Was it E. T. in the U. S. Yeah, oh, probably. I would imagine. I didn't look it up. It had to have been. It had to have been. Tell me your <clears throat> story. My E. T. terror. So I told you I saw it in the theater. Didn't remember it. Mm-hmm. I fell asleep. But then when it came out on home video, which was a big deal, we talked about this with the green thing. And yeah. Everything, all that kind of stuff. Well, we got it or whatever, and I remember we had this like, little weird rocking chair thing. <clears throat> and I sat there with my whole family. We decided to watch it because, you know, it just came out and everything. It was a big deal. Mm-hmm. And that was like one of the first VHS, like, manufactured for home video release or whatever. Mm-hmm. So we all watched. I, mean, I think before that, you just had blank tapes. That's why my dad taped off HBO all the time. Yes. Because you could do that. Yeah, but, and you could also record home videos with those VHS Yes, tapes, yes, so. yes, absolutely. But we, um, anyway, so we sat down and watched it. And the part where he starts dying. To this day, traumatized me so bad. Oh. I was crying hysterically. And I was, what, three years old? Mm-hmm. I was very young. So it was very traumatic. And I have never been able to get over it. I cannot watch that movie ever again. It was horrifying. I have never... Because I think up until that point, I had never really had a moment like that where I cried hysterically. I mean, obviously, since then, I have cried hysterically over everything. <laughs> so, <laughs> including this movie. No, I'm just kidding. But <laughs> I mean, I did Actually, yeah, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Wait a minute, which part were we sad about? (laughs) What? Which part were we sad about? 
in this one? I was sad about the Emperor. Oh. Who was I sad? Somebody was. Somebody... Oh, no, that was Galaxy Quest. Mm. We oh, I cried about the for one. Galaxy yeah, Quest, yeah. for sure. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Even, like, like when the when the one guy died and he was all, like, you know, like, oh, you were, like, a father figure I know we've never met. Oh, whatever. Or whatever. And, like, he says, like, the, by Garth Hall's hammer stuff. I'm like, <laughs> And then when Justin Long is finally getting, like, the recognition, like, as a fan, he's like, I knew it was real. And he's, like, holding his, like, his little thing up when they're, like, doing the little rocket, not the rockets, the, the Roman candles to, like, mark the runway for them to come down. Like, that moment is, like, such an empowering moment for him to be such a key player in, like, this whole thing. And it's all, like, real and, like, coming together. I was like, <laughs> Yeah. Okay, okay, I'll get Yeah, that. no, I'm a mess. What about this one? I can't remember. Maybe I was just traumatized. Maybe I was just crying. I was just fear. traumatized because, oh, I don't know what's happening. Mm-hmm. I feel like that would be me. I was just so confused. <laughs> uh, yeah. The crustaceans try to stop them, and they're just like, oh. Like, we don't need like, y'all okay, crustaceans. By the way, to be honest, I like do not like the design villains. of those things. <laughs> I do not. I think they look stupid. They are a bit much, but a lot Only of the stuff Only because there's too many legs and they don't all move individually. Like, if, if they were right. able to claw, like, move, like, yeah, all their legs, it, is a lot it of would legs. be more creepy. But they just are just, they just have these stupid little attached appendages that are just dangling off of them. It looks stupid. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's pretty fair. <clears throat> like, I just don't but think I, it looks right. It would have looked better if they had the exact same upper body and just had two or three legs down at the bottom. And that's it. Well, I think the many legs, the too many legs Hides really covers. Ones. I know, but I'm just saying. Yeah. We already know it's people in suits. We're not mm. dumb. <laughs> <laughs> it's 1982, though, so this is, like, good. Well, I guess as a kid, it did traumatize me no matter what. So. <laughs> no like, matter what, it shook my soul. <laughs> it, it didn't matter that they were people in suits because I still did. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but I feel like we did watch the behind the scenes when I was a kid. And that's how I knew about the lo- the Landstriders being people with stilts. Is that like, what they're called? The kid, Landstriders? That's what like, I call yeah. them. I well, yeah, they that's what they the are. They land. <laughs> they do. I mean, most of the... Well, most of these things, except for the like the Skeksis and the Mystics, most of these things are like sea creatures. Yeah, kinda. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, gross. Which I feel kind of adds to the the. How is it not the same? It's the same crystal. It's not the it's same just crystal. It's levitating here. It's not the same crystal. It's gotta be. No. What, I, what is taking it's their It's not essence. the same crystal. If which you know might the answer, be why. Email us at no, no, no. Seriously, which might be why. At gmail.com. This okay. one. Doesn't do anything to the Skeksis. Uh, maybe. And also, oh, all what was that weird little up. thing on the crystal? That was all weird. That's where the shard goes. Oh. We're going to jab it in there? Yeah. In that little hole? Ultimately, after Fizzgig dies, after Kira dies. Well, what? Dies Everybody ish. dies? Yeah, Fizzgig is the worst. Like, that. He dies? Yeah. Where? When? Here. Did he already die? No. Oh. He's going to die right now. Oh, I don't remember that. Yeah. Like the Skeksis are going to slowly come in. Oh, does he try to attack one and he throws it into the pit? Yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And like Kira is like, you better do something, buddy. And then Jen's like, I'm conflicted. Because Jen is always like, I'm conflicted. Well, there's also a fucking okay, I'll floating go. ass crystal that I have to jump towards. He was on it. He when? was already on it. I'm pretty sure. When was he already? He was not on it yet. Oh, so he Johnny. has to use that little plank right there, the little jumping doodad. That's the, the to, diving board. The diving board. <laughs> How convenient. Yeah, of <laughs> There's course. A diving of course. board above the. There's crystal. a diving board conveniently placed, just uh-huh. like the uh, mountain cliff for the Lion King. <laughs> it's mm-hmm. like, well, there just happens to be this rock mm-hmm. here that we can present our baby on. Look, Jen's like, uh oh, Kira. Hello, Kira. Kira. <coughs> Kira, what you doing here? That was a legitimate I thought you were cough. dead. <laughs> <coughs> that was not me sympathizing with anything. Nah. <coughs> so now they're doing their thing. Yeah, are they waiting for the plants to line or something? The suns, the three suns. The great conjunction. 
Oh, which, that's right. Which um, Agra talked about. See, again, with but, all the, the lore and the stuff and the who knows what's the fuck's she, going on. But she, like, has so much information that she just, like, you know, is unwilling to share. She just wants to call everybody a dummy for not knowing better. It's almost like Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas. Maybe. Where it's, like, this ridiculous amount of chaos going on, but somehow it was organized <gasps> into a song. saw Kira. What? What happened? Oh. Yeah, because <laughs> Fizz Gig is like, let's get out of here. <laughs> let's get the fuck out of Dodge, man. Oh, look, there's that actor. That's an actor in a suit. Mm-hmm. Hey, he's going to run and jump. He's going to run and jump. Both of them are actors, both sides. Ooh, this teeth. This jump. It's like my cat. Ah, two gulfling. Two. Two gulfling. <laughs> This is the this, this is, is the prophecy. episode people have been waiting for. We just oh, yell at the movie <laughs> <laughs> in weird languages. <laughs> well, it's them. We're quoting the movie. We're quoting the movie. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Look at that guy's hair, dude. Did you see that? Uh-oh. That was fantastic. Oh, oh I would a hundred. I would a uh, hundred. Go ahead. Decibels. Do that. <laughs> Decibels. Oh no! Well, of course they're gonna lose this fucking shard. Oh, is she aged the because shard. they took some of her essence? Yes. They yes. I like that. There we go. Fizz I was gonna say, age day. looks good on her, like Fiona Apple. <laughs> Wait, Macy, are you on the crystal? Yeah. How did he get on the crystal? When and did that Fizz happen? Gig did I miss dead, it? And she drops those wings. She she totally Stevie Nicks that shit. Yeah. I love how she picks it up. She goes like that, like. Like, I'm and she's gonna fight, fight you. you with these. I'm gonna fight you with this crystal. Well, she knows it like cuts their skin. They're fragile skin. I don't think like oh. it takes much to cut their skin. Well, don't how, cut them because it's gonna cut the mystics, bitch. You don't know that one thing affects the other hoe. God, this bitch. She doesn't, but like. This is where she should oh, yeah, start like singing. she's gonna trust that guy. She should have started singing. It would have confused the fuck out of everybody. The landslide brought me down. <laughs> Uh oh, here we go. Jen, heal it. Jen, you better heal it. <gasps> oh, skanky bitch. Yeah, gave us the crystal. And wow, this is intense. I don't remember all this. Yeah. I probably fall asleep before this. Yeah, part. and look, and Jen still has to think about it. Jen is like, wait, Jen, why are you? Are you fucking it? nuts? Slam that shit she's to like, that thing like, and get the fucking bitch off the floor. Goodness. It's the only other golfing in the goddamn world, and you're gonna just sit there. And they're like, "Oh my, what should I do?" Jen's like, "Well, well I guess I will. I guess I will. I guess I will heal the crystal." <laughs> <laughs> Fucking asshole! I would have done it by now. Yeah, seriously, you still think? I mean, about I would have done it before. I also don't understand how that works exactly. How did that shard come out of there? It, like it, it broke, out, just... and they, like, brought it all back, except for, like, the one piece, maybe? Just yeah. pops of crystal And color. now it's radiating a sound that, like, the skeptics can't handle. <clears throat> but then the mystics are going to roll in. He didn't, little, have, he didn't even have tears in his eyes. Maybe they couldn't do tears. Because his skin is so porous. And <laughs> dry. It's like a sponge. He's, he's a, got sponge he's a face. Desert creature. <clears throat> Ooh, excuse me. Now all their crabby dudes are falling apart. <clears throat> yeah, because they were being held together by the magic of oh, the dark crystal. Yeah, they, were, they were hollow. Oh. Hollow. Uh oh, here they come. Did anybody try to shoot one of them? <laughs> With what? A bullet. And it would nobody, just rattle around. Nobody boom, boom, has boom, boom, a boom, bullet. Boom. Oh, <laughs> oh that's the right. Poplings. There's no guns. Are they going to get healed? They, they got their eyes back. Because whatever power that the crystal had before, no longer has. I still don't Not exactly, that the Gelflings are coming back to life. I but. still don't exactly understand any of this. <laughs> <laughs> like, maybe this will be in the prequel. Yeah, but here, like, here she comes. Agra, what about... She knows what's going on. Like, why, why did the Mystics and the Skeksis separate to begin with? I don't know they're going to bat. Like, like was it I on know, purpose, I know or? they were supposed to be representative of like the seven deadly sins. Look, that's showing. a different crystal. See? You're right. You're so right. what the fuck? What was that? What what crystal is that? Maybe that was where the shard was supposed <gasps> oh, to go. Oh, you know what? Fizzgig did not die. Oh, look at you telling me he died. Oh, there's, oh, there's the, tears. the tears. It's a glue gun. 
<laughs> definitely. That was totally a glue yeah, gun. Yeah, there's definitely multiple puppets. I need a glue here. gun and I need some shiny paint. Because <laughs> <laughs> these tears aren't working. Oh, they got color in their hair back and everything. It's a lot of healing done in like 30 seconds for those podlings. She's moving pretty good. Yeah, because she knows what's going down. You know, she squatted for so long, she probably got rid of that egg. <laughs> now egg I can jog. Egg her back. <laughs> that maybe that was all the weight in her, her in her tatas. In her, in her tush? Oh, um, well, tush, yeah, maybe. Okay, we, we saw all the tears already. I don't understand. Agra. Why are there all these... Whoop, they come. See, now they're going to get swapped back into these people. Mm -hmm. I, I just don't before. understand. I really don't. I mean, it's all nice and pretty and everything, but what the fuck is it about? Duality? Well, yeah, but why were they separated? That's because what I want to know. Because there was some kind of war the narrator told Because the, the shard breaking? I guess so. Yeah, but no, no, no. I feel like they Ooh, did. Oh, they absorb. Look at them absorb. It's so oh, creepy when they stand up like yeah, that. Isn't that weird? It is. It totally is. weird. Like a gen, he's very Oh, look confused. at those special effects. Oh, God. I hope the new series is not like that. I hope it's exactly like Ooh, this. Oh, God, no. No. No optical effects. <laughs> and now we got the uh, Steven Spielberg aliens. They're, um, <laughs> Actually, they're um, kind of cuter than the Steven Spielberg in, aliens. Oh, God. I like their twig and bears. They're like twigs. Twiggies. Oh my god, the Spice Girls song should be totally part of this. When to become one. That's exactly what's happening right that's, now. That's what happened. This is the Spice Girls. The prophecy is being fulfilled. This right. is the reunion of the Spice Girls. Well, the Spice Girls was definitely like at least a decade beyond this. No, no, no. It, this was a for What is it? Foreshadowing? Foreshadowing of the Spice Girls. Like uh, that's Ginger. Gross. And, oh god, there's more. <laughs> Well, maybe they dropped some of them because they weren't talented. I mean, they kept oh Posh because she was pretty. Well, yeah. Yeah. Look at that. I'm sorry, dude. Did, did you know that your footage was flickering? They, they had 15 million. I mean, I know. To work with. So I shouldn't really this be a bitch about it. This was the fanciest scene they had. I mean, it is really cool. I'm not going to lie. Yeah. I want to know how they did that. Did they? Is it negative footage? It looks because it's inverted. definitely not. Yeah, it's definitely inverted in some way. So yeah. they, they would be a, all black and photographed and then reversed, right? Mm, she's part of him. Maybe I don't all know. part of each other. Oh, you're actually paying attention. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to figure out the visuals. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, I'm trying to figure out what they're called. Because there were a lot of edits for the film, and one of them was the name for the mystics. It was several <clears throat> different, like, names. Why? And I know, well, because, like, it was difficult for people to follow along, I'm sure. And so I want to know <laughs> that these things are called... Girl, it's still in! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but when they're talking about them in the beginning, if they call them the Immerskis and the Skekskis or something, Immer Immerus or whatever... The Immersky. I want to say these guys are Immerskis. The Merkins? No, it's like a combination of the two <laughs> names. Because they're opposites. But then they like changed it to the Mystics eventually is what they stuck with. Do you know what a Merkin is? No. <laughs> I know what a Murloc is. A Merkin is a pubic hair wig. That is disgusting. A Murloc is a frog-like creature in the popularized video popularized in the video game World of Warcraft. The sound they make when they die is roll, 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 roll. Oh that sounds lovely. Mm -hmm. That's my text tone. Oh look at their pretty new castle. It is a pretty and their pretty new land. Look, look at that water. That water flow down the middle. A little rapid bit. Love it. Well now everybody knows how the series will end <laughs> on Netflix. Mm -hmm. This is how it ended. <laughs> so um Everything's given away. <laughs> yeah. That is weird that they would do a prequel, but I guess they had to have Gelflings in it. But don't you think they could have procreated? And, but well, I guess it would be like, this would be well, the, I mean, this would like be, we have like this would Star be the Wars conundrum prequels. of the Adam and Eve situation. Because if you think about it, relatives gonna have to reproduce to create mono bitches. So that's nasty. 
You nasty. I'm girl. I'm not the one that made up Adam and Eve. <laughs> Put it in a book and said, "Hey, y'all, this is real." <laughs> not my thing. <laughs> There, I didn't there, do there, it. There, there, there was more. There were more than them. There was more than those two in the book. I'm pretty sure. Oh, here was like a voices, and there was like another one. So did Frank Oz not do any of the goddamn voices? No, maybe he just did like. Wow, the... I'm really kind of a, a weirdo about that. I've been telling people for years that he did the voice for that woman. Man, you messed up. Oh well, I'm sorry, guys. You know what voice he also didn't do? Audrey too. Was he supposed to have? No. He just directed that movie. Oh. I was like, oh, uh, okay. God, that movie's good. It is good. It's that one of my favorites. That director's cut is... Top. Mint. Mint. <laughs> mint. <laughs> or not it, director's cut, but I guess it would be the... The deleted... Whatever you call it. What do you call that? An alternate ending. Because that was the test audience one. Or yeah. They, that I mean, was the ending that they created, and then the test audience didn't like it. Mm-hmm. Right? For those of you that don't know, we're talking about Little Shop of Horrors, and then... Bop Shabop. When, uh, the Little Shop of Terrors. Oh. <laughs> Call the cop. <laughs> um, but, <laughs> yeah, the, um, the one that was in the 80s that Frank Oz directed, uh, they had an ending Rick Moranis. where... With Rick, Rick Moranis, that's right. Um, Bill Murray, that one dude who was in the Steve in Moonstruck, Steve Martin, for sure. There's a lot of people in that movie, uh-huh. and beautiful, beautiful, John, beautiful. What's uh, her name? Audrey. John, um, the Blues Brother. Hmm. Oh, Belushi? Or is it Jim Belushi? Jim. One of the Belushi. One of the Belushi's. Uh, yeah. Well, the original. What is ending... the name of the woman that played Ellen Green? Maybe. Yes. Yeah. She was in uh, Pushing Daisies. God, oh, I love Pushing yeah. Daisies. That should have been longer. <laughs> God, I can't believe they canceled that show. In the original Netflix. ending of the film <laughs> that they uh, tested with the audiences uh, was when Audrey 2, the plant from outer space, um, still murdered everybody and took over the earth, right? Yeah, it or, was amazing. Yeah. But the audience didn't like it, and so they changed the ending. And to not the only that, one. but they, the budget that they must have utilized <laughs> for that ending, <laughs> and then they had to cut that fucking the pla- ending. Like the like Audrey because like it was ate insane. Rick Moranis, didn't it? it? Like ate everyone. Yeah, but I'm saying like, like the gigantic Audrey's like taking over cities yeah. and shit. Like that was crazy <laughs> shit. Yeah. And it was spectacular. And to this day, like, if you get the Blu-ray for it, it has that version mm-hmm. on there. And it looks incredible. Like, you're like, holy shit. <laughs> yeah. Why the fuck That's did you That's what they this? wanted. But the test audience was like, no. And they were like, all right, it's a love story then. <laughs> yeah, okay, And so they, they still ended with, like, little Audrey's in, um, in the plants around the fence. Like, the white picket fence that um, Seymour and Audrey, like, had around their home. Mm-hmm. There were still, like, little tiny, like, pods of, like, Audrey, too. Oh, yeah, I remember that, yeah. Yeah, that kind of, like, hinted to the ending they wanted. Whatever. Yeah. The ending in the original was way better. Did you know it was a Technicolor film? I didn't. Well, Technicolor wasn't really Technicolor at that point, if that makes sense. Like, it Technicolor was, no was a company, but they didn't do, like, the the three-color Technicolor that we... Yeah, because there's a lot of Technicolor movies now. Yeah, yeah, When yeah, I no. worked at the theater... There's still Technicolor. Yeah, Technicolor, yeah absolutely. Company. But, like, the, the actual Technicolor... Where they would go. Where they would have to, to do it with the, the. Yeah. Yeah. It's very different. Oh, we should do a Technicolor. Have we done a Technicolor film yet? Oh, uh, so we, we can talk about Gentlemen it. Gentlemen Prefer Blondes. We talked about it at length during Gentlemen Prefer Blondes. Oh, we did? But I don't know that it was Technicolor or maybe the one scene was in Technicolor. Diamonds Are a Girl's Best Friend? No, no, no. Diamonds Are a Girl's Best Friend was filmed in. Cinemascope. Oh, you're right. But not the rest of the movie. Because right. I was confused because yeah. I was like, wait a minute, where's the widescreen? <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't uh, widescreen. So, oh God, the movie ended. Uh, <laughs> it sure did, John. It sure did. Do you have anything else? Any closing thoughts? Anything? The opening uh, and closing credits are in widescreen. Or like have like the the special the special wide and then it, uh, the bars and it opens up. That's something What, for this? Mention. Yeah. Oh, Something I didn't, I didn't mention. That. The Galaxy Quest did the same thing, um, but only in theaters. Where when they went on the ship, the the footage got wider because they were like in real life. That. Yeah, I love that. 
That's like uh, we were uh, Ghostbusters, the new one, which was incredible, by the way. And I think everybody should go fucking watch the that. The 3D movie. bits? Is that what you're talking about? Yeah, the 3D bits, but the also like opening up the frame to be um, 1.85 to 1 instead of 2.35 to 1. 2.35 is bigger. No, no, 2.35 is, is wider. Oh, okay. But it's squatter. But 1.85 to 1 is taller. Right on. Same, you know what I mean? Yes. So, like, when they to one open up the for IMAX, IMAX would be 1.85 to 1. So, like, in, in an IMAX theater, mm-hmm. it was cropped until those scenes, and then, boom, it opened up. So, and I thought that was incredible. A lot of, a lot that. of IMAX movies will do that where they won't well, yeah. be shot entirely in IMAX they'll just shoot like a scene Certain in IMAX scenes. like Batman if you ever watch yes. what is it Batman mm-hmm. the Dark Knight yeah with the there's like a like a car chase scene there's that widens up a few of the scenes where it is IMAX so it widens up mm-hmm. or top and bottom widens up yeah and it's very I mean if you watch the film and pay attention to it it's very obvious but, but he originally wanted to film the whole thing in IMAX but they couldn't afford it Oh, I hell mean, IMAX no. is expensive. Hell no, bitch, you ain't doing that. But you know what's interesting is that I think it was King Kong, Peter Jackson filmed a lot of that movie in 3D, but they never did it. They never, it's not in 3D. Oh, that's rough. Isn't that weird? You know what I really don't like when movies, like, all right, so I was upset that I went and saw Godzilla King of the Monsters, like the most recent one. Oh, I wanted to see that and I never saw it. I saw it. it in IMAX and you know what, Johnny? What? It wasn't filmed in IMAX. So oh, it was just really? on a big it screen. Blurry? It was just on a big screen that which drove me nuts. Like, yeah, like cool, whatever, it's on a big screen, but I wanted to see those monsters. I wanted to see Mothra. See this bat is, that's her wings. The thing. That's like, the thing about okay, so do people, like, do people my even business. understand when we talk about I, IMAX compared to everything? For the listeners, if you don't During know. Gentlemen prefer blondes, we did talk about, did we the, talk different, about IMAX? the different size of uh, but did films. we talk about IMAX? Probably not. Let's let's just do it again. Yeah. Because I was so, like, what, 20, okay. 20 episodes ago? <laughs> 20 episodes ago, we talked about <laughs> uh, size of negatives. Uh-huh. IMAX is fucking huge. And mm-hmm. I'm, I, it's almost like if you're if you're going to say like a 35 millimeter camera negative compared to a, um, what is that called? Um, the large one. Well, I, think it's <laughs> called, I think it might be called 70? large format. No, 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 a like large, a, a yeah. still camera. You okay. know what I'm talking about? Where you get the, the, and it's like down here, like Stanley Kubrick used to use them. <laughs> Everybody knows what I'm talking about. <laughs> nobody, nobody um, knows. I think it's just called large format, I think. Okay. But anyway, it's a gigantic negative. And basically with IMAX, it's the same kind of thing. Is that IMAX? Well, uh, it's like the 8x10? No, it's not that Hold big. on. 67, blah, blah, blah. I'm gonna, I can't remember what it's called. It might just be called l- large format. Maybe. I don't know. No, there's a name for it. 70 millimeter IMAX format, widescreen format has a phone frame dimension, 69.6 by 48.5 millimeters. So 2.74 by 9 or 1.91. Is inches. that IMAX? Mm hmm. Two points. Yeah. It's fucking huge. It's big. Yeah. So, and this is the other thing, like, IMAX uh, projectors... It is 70 millimeter. Your yeah, butt. But what? It's, 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 um, it's wider, though. Well, it's wider this way. Mm-hmm. But it's... Oh, okay. I see what you're yeah. saying. Yeah. So they film it sideways. Yeah. See, like... And that's the same thing, like, I was going to say, like, when 70 millimeter was popular back in the day, like, um... You know what I'm talking about. Like, uh, Sleep Beauty was in actual 70 millimeter. Ooh, but Fox, I think, was one of the studios that did not want to really uh, transition all their stuff into that shit. So yeah. they just put their camera sideways and filmed on 35 millimeter, just wider. So if you ever watch a lot of those films, like uh, Spartacus, I think is I think Spartacus is one, mm-hmm. which was not Fox, but anyway, not the point. Um, the grain will be going sideways rather than going up and down. Okay. Because it's projected on its side. Yes. So, like, uh, I know for a fact, um, oh, shit, what is it? It's Shirley MacLaine, um, My Geisha, I think it's called. Okay. That film was filmed that way. So I know for a fact the grain is going side to side. I believe Spartacus was done that way, I think. But, um, but yeah, so they didn't want to really 
kind of like when Chino Cheetah did not want to transition into sound. So mm-hmm. they just dubbed all their fucking movies and didn't soundproof any of their sound stages. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, y'all could just put sound in later. Who cares? Uh, <laughs> which is why all Fellini films are like that. Right like, on. even later in life, he still dubbed most of his films anyway. Because he also had a very specific, like, uh, what do you call that? Like, characters that were always in his films. What do you call those? Like, um, what do you call that? Char- like, Go on. Character what? Characters that are always in his films. Like, he has the same... Like a reoccurring? Stereotype character. Does that make sense? Like, uh, I can't think of any of them. But are you like, trying to think of the word typecast? Well, it's kind of like that, but not like that. But, like, he has, like, in his head, like, there's always this little old lady in his film doing this little thing. Mm -hmm. And he has it visually looking the same way. And he'll also have actors come in and do different voices for them so that it matches what he wanted. Does that make sense? Right. So he always had stereotype characters Mm -hmm. in his film that always looked and sounded the same way. Right on. Because he could. Yeah. He's like, well, who cares if your voice doesn't sound right? I'll just fix it. <laughs> and in fact, in uh, Casanova, <laughs> I think it was Casanova. Well, I think actually all of them. It doesn't matter which one. But like uh, Donald Sutherland talked about it. Like there are some scenes where Donald Sutherland is literally just counting because Fellini hadn't written any dialogue that he wanted yet. So he was like, just just count. So he'd be like, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And... <laughs> <laughs> so then he would just dub whatever he wanted later he's like I'll come up with it later who cares <laughs> <laughs> who cares what it is that you're about to say to to <laughs> like an just, audience just count yeah. whatever it doesn't matter <laughs> and that's the thing if you ever watch Casanova is a good example of mm-hmm. him matching a voice with a, a visual because if you watch it with Donald Sutherland mm-hmm. it's a very different experience than watching the Italian dub yeah the Italian dub the visual of what he did with Donald Sutherland's face and everything, like he had these weird prosthetics on him and shaved his hair back and it just looks really crazy. But if you listen to it in Italian with the Italian dub, Fellini matched the visual of what he wanted with the sound that he wanted. With Donald Sutherland, he had to, in English dubs, it had to be Donald Sutherland because it's Donald Sutherland. Yeah. So, but in the Italian version, it actually sounds the way that he wanted it to sound. Okay. So it's a very different experience. So okay. if you're watching the Italian version, it's like, oh, I get it. But if you're watching the Donald Sutherland voice doing it, it's like, ooh, girl, mm-hmm. maybe you shouldn't have said all that. Because <laughs> it just doesn't have the same character quality, if that makes sense. Now, what were you going to say about IMAX? I don't remember. <laughs> uh, all right. So do you know the difference between a flat film and a scope? Yes. Like flat doesn't fill out the pool frame. It's the 1.85 versus the 2.3. Mm-hmm. Um, scope is often a wider, a larger lens for the audience. A larger lens that will, that they use more so in action movies and epic films. And you can mostly tell, if you go to a movie theater, you can mostly tell the difference between a flat film and a scope film. You can see, you can visually see it during the trailers. And so a lot of times the flat movies will go first and you'll see that there's like bars on the top and bottom and then yeah. when you get to a scope um it'll widen up or vice versa like mm-hmm. it'll be wide and it'll drop down depending on whether or not the feature is in flat or scope but yeah and so i was expecting it to go from scope to like imax to go even wider to fill out the full and it never the did full theater and it never did yeah. it never did john and i was waiting for it and the person i was with um our historian i um i was like I was like, get ready, because we watched some trailers that were in IMAX, and I was like, there it is, there it is, that's what we're waiting for. Like, sometimes it's like, because I was like, nerding out about movies in general, mm-hmm. and I was like, pumped about Godzilla for some weird reason. Well. And, <laughs> um, but yeah, and like, it never showed up. That's stupid. Yeah, even when Mothra was there. Oh, she man. is gorgeous. Yeah, I heard she was beautiful in this one. Yeah, absolutely. And yeah. she was just like, oh, I really want to see it. Being like, beautiful and such. I will yeah. say... You know, like, the negatives are huge. The cameras are also mm-hmm. big Have you ever for seen IMAX. The, the projector at Mosey? 
Yeah, that mu- one, I was yeah. going to bring that one up because that one's, it's freaking huge. Yeah, for those of you who aren't locals, that's the Museum of Science and Industry, and they have a, yes. uh, we have a, a, dome a dome IMAX theater. IMAX theater. So, <laughs> which I heard when they did uh, episode one, no, episode two mm-hmm. there, and you, if you watched, <laughs> is it because of the, the domed uh, surface mm-hmm. that most of the time Hayden Christensen looked like Don Knotts. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, I kind of really wish that I had seen it just for that. That theater, would have been amazing. Because of the way it's shaped, climbing up the like auditorium, the seats, like yes. makes me want to throw up. Oh, God, it's because crazy. Because you're, you're, again, if you haven't been there, it's like a giant sphere. That it's almost like if, if, if you're Disney nerds, mm-hmm. it's almost like the screens that they use for... Uh, I thought... Yeah, and Epcot, the, um, what is it called? Uh, the, the flight one. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But, like, you're hovering over it, like, in that one. In you're, that like, one, yeah, you're kind of, like, something. hovering near mm-hmm. it. But in the one at Mosey, you have to, it's it's just <laughs> weird. Yeah, you're climbing to the center of a sphere, and the sphere all around you is a screen. Which is really cool, because they also play, like, it educational is, yeah. stuff there. I mean, it is a, it's a very cool thing. I've been to two laser shows there. <laughs> <laughs> Which, if you're local, you know that those are kind of like nerdy shows. Yeah, like, super cool stuff. I went to Pink Floyd and I went to Led Zeppelin. <laughs> oh, beautiful. Perfect. I, I would mean, love to absolutely. go to those. It was Never fantastic. Never been. Would love to. Oh, yeah. But yeah, they so have good. like on the opposite side um, because they are like an educational place. It has like the clear thing where they have the projector that lifts up. Yeah. 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 My old roommate used to work... Um, with IMAX, he's talking about how heavy it but was. Yeah, the, the projectors yeah. are huge, and they have to have a lot of, um, what do you call it, like cooling or something? Cause, mm-hmm. Because the, the, the light that it has to use to run yeah. it is freaking insane. Woo, regular projector, projector bulbs when they blow. I mean, ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh. Well, that's also, it's kind of interesting because um, celluloid used to be a material that was very flammable. Yeah, most uh, projection booths have, um, like, like wash stations. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because of the chemicals that were used during. Yeah, and they were very that. dangerous. Yeah. And <laughs> yeah, the now, place of I worked out like an eye wash station, it. a shower, like yeah. That's like, did you ever see Cinema Paradiso? No, I've oh. definitely heard of it. I've definitely don't it's on my ever list. watch the director's cut. Don't. It's because it's too it's long. Awful. Oh. Awful. Oh. <laughs> I have never been so disappointed in my life. I mean, because I've seen the film before. Yeah. And then I was like, ooh, director's cut. I've got to love that one. Nope. Like, right when, in, the, in the beautiful climatic moment that you're waiting for. When they catch fire? Is that right? No, no, no. That, oh. that her, happens earlier. Oh, okay. But um, <laughs> he, there, it's about a, a kid that basically becomes friends with a projectionist and, <laughs> and mm-hmm. his whole life and blah, blah. It's beautiful. But in the director's cut, he right at this point pivotal moment towards the end which I'm not going to tell you because you haven't seen it definitely okay. not going to ruin that because it's one of my favorites ever it's so fucking good okay. but anyway so it, it um, right before that moment it cuts to like 40 minutes of backstory that I was like why the fuck did you just do that to me <laughs> that was 40 minutes I didn't need and I've seen the film before so I already knew what was coming mm-hmm. and it didn't enhance it at all if anything he should have put it at the beginning because it was like why did you tell me that right there to, that was build, fucking to dumb. build the suspense, Johnny. No, it was fucking dumb. So don't ever watch the director's cut. Okay. Only watch the uh, theatrical version, which is the one on Blu-ray. So watch the Blu-ray. Okay. Which I it don't doesn't include anymore, the director's cut. No, it does not. No. Okay. Which it was one of the only times I was okay with it. <laughs> I, was like, I was like, no, that's fine. <laughs> Give me that one. That's fine. <laughs> um, anyway, I'm sorry. Yeah. So we're gonna wrap this up. The, yeah, poor people. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, that's Our short doing. film ended up being a, a long app. Long app. Well, all right. So, like, subscribe. I keep saying like. Rate, you can like whatever you want. Subscribe, cool. a review, send us a mess. Uh, yeah, send us a mess. We'll clean it right up. <laughs> One I'm kidding. A message. <laughs> Or on the Instas, the Twits, or the Facebooks. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Instagram, you'll probably get more uh, reaction from us because I'm on there a little bit more often. Same. The other ones, I check them every now and then. Yeah, <laughs> but we'll check them more, you know. If, we'll like, try to check them more if, if you guys start actually doing things. I don't, know. Well, don't blame them. I'll don't blame them. them. We also don't reach out. 
Well, who am I reaching out to? Hey, random guy in the seat somewhere. Or lady. Oh, hey, random guy or lady. Hey, random guy or lady. I see you. You came across this podcast and you thought, Dark Crystal, that sounds fun. <laughs> <laughs> An hour and 48 minutes later, you're like, what the fuck, man? These people didn't talk about anything except for IMAX. <laughs> and they didn't even I mean, finish that conversation. I like talking about IMAX. In any case, no, join I us too. next I week where yes. we have a... Um, a we guest. have a special guest. Yeah, this next a returning one. special guest. Yes, uh, yes, Karina Baez. Beautiful. Where we watch Starship Troopers. There you go. Yeah, I almost forgot. I let you say it. Yeah, I saw that. You I were... mean, I knew what it was, but I just, I thought you were gonna. Uh, bye bye. <laughs> oh. You <laughs> <laughs> scared me. <laughs> Hey, what the fuck? Well, it's like Jen's wings coming out Hit all of a sudden. square. Or not Jen. What's her name? No, her name's Kira. Kira, whatever. Jen's fuck her. The boy. Fuck her with her wings. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> fuck those wings. Good though. Yeah, okay, bye.